Hey everybody, hope you weren't expecting to take a break because we are about to celebrate the second anniversary of Monster Strike in North America and with that comes Cybol in the quest of the Feast of Endless Rebirth. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right but uh, we'll see. We have four difficulties here and I will be bringing my tablet because if you bring your tablet you are guaranteed a drop through that local co-op chest, something that the Japanese version did not uh, have the advantage of and we're gonna use our newly max lucked chain bound jack here because it has flight and if this looks familiar I'm using Brunhilde once again because the boss is a demon and my tablet will bring along dodgy so let's get going now this quest is known to be pretty difficult but uh, Cybel is a pretty useful monster if you can max luck her. So if you have the time and patience, I would suggest giving it a shot. It definitely is not going to be easy because um, those magic circles, I don't think anybody enjoys them. They are pretty uh, painful to deal with. So this first stage you're just kind of going to go vertical because um, that is your best shot at avoiding those circles and quite frankly this stage pretty it sets you up for it I mean of course assuming you have uh, pierce types now let's see Brunhilde we're still gonna go up and down slightly to the right and sh looks like dodgy should be able to take care of the zombie uh, without too much trouble And if you forgot what the uh, chicks do, um, it will reduce your attack by a third. That also includes your bump combo. You are prevented from using your strike shots. But don't worry, your abilities are still there. So um, you don't have to worry about losing your gravity bears or your null warps or something like that. It's just that they are powered down and no strike shots, which actually is a pretty big... Uh, downside but could be worse all right so as you can see there is one panel here so we want to try and get get our dodgy back to normal and any other monsters that you may have uh, in the chick form to set us up for the next floor so uh, even better reason to have these bonus stages all right, second stage here. Oh, actually, it looks like we skipped the second stage. All right, so since it looks like Jack is on top of the the magic circle, we're gonna want to cross the bottom one. Of course, don't forget you only need to cross the once you cross the uh, magic circle once, uh, they are deactivated for that turn, so you can freely go over them afterwards. Uh, let's see, Jack does not have no warps, so he is going into one of those warps. Alright, no magic circle hits. And it looks like the uh, warps are uh, predictable, so you don't have to worry about uh, randomly going out in different directions, which is always a good thing. Ooh, really hoping to go over that other magic circle. And let's see, let's see. So it looks like Cybel has the revive on herself, so that's gonna be a little bit of a pain. And oh, okay, so the mines have a one turn cooldown. We'll just go up and down. Boom. Alright, 3500 for each mine. That's not that bad. All right, let's just step over those two circles. Whoops. Oh, just short. Yes, don't forget about the warps. I completely forgot about that. All right, we want to step over one only. That looks good. All 
Alright, Dodgy is a minesweeper, so... And she has no warp, that's great. So we only want to step over one. Great! Oh, 14 turns! Alright. Let's take on the boss. So, let's start with that... Ooh. Two circles. There we go. Alright, who's next? The other Jack, so we only want to go across one, so... Alright. Now Brunhilder is already on a circle, so... Maybe something like this. There we go. Alright, so, I mean, you'll have to do all the reviving, but making sure you clear off the minions, always a good thing. Alright, she's bounce. Mm. Ah, bummer. Hmm. <laughs> Don't forget about not having no warp. Alright, Jack, let's see. Whoa. Back to normal, that's good. And we're just gonna go around. Alright, pretty good. We got the last bar. Alright. So let's make sure that our dodgy gets back to normal because we want to make sure she can use her strike shot next turn, which everybody else can it looks like. Well, I guess Jack still needs to get his up. He does have the uh, lightning strike shot, which unsurprisingly takes a little bit longer to charge up than others. Uh, Brunhilder has the uh, speed up, uh, attack up, and also goes into counter mode, which should be helpful. Uh, you know what, let's just see what happens. Alright, perfect. Ooh, wow. That hurts. And when you're in strike shot mode, all of the... Uh, Magic circles turn off, so do not worry about those. Ooh, getting some nice slayer damage there. Alright, dodgy. What's your strike shot? Alright, explosion. Just short. Oh, but no attack, so this should be good. There you go. And there you go. That's Cybel for the extreme quest. Now, we're not done yet because if you complete the extreme quest without continuing, you are guaranteed. All right, two drops. Not bad. You are guaranteed an extra stage, so there is more to do, actually, and it only gets harder. There we go. We got two drops so far, which isn't bad. And let's see how... Oh, wait. After this screen, I guess. There you go, extra stage attack. So, we'll see how this goes in the next video.